Hi everyone, I'm Clias, and I'm back with another cringy furry video. Yay! So, in response to some of my earlier videos, a few people told me, Clias, your recording equipment sucks. You need to get a better microphone. To which my response is, okay. Let's see how much I have for a new microphone. I don't think Fry's sells microphones. So, because of the utter lack of funds, I'm just going to have to figure out a way make this microphone better. Now truthfully, this isn't a bad microphone. It had 4.3 out of 5 stars on Amazon, so it must be good, right? Right? The main issue with this microphone is, is that it's a lavalier mic, which means that when I'm far away, like this, Actually, I got this probably done uh, a little while ago before I started the channel. You can't hear me too well. Also, it's an omnidirectional mic, which means that it picks up sounds from all around. That means it picks up a lot of background noise, too. But being that I'm a mad scientist genius, I do believe I know a few ways to make this microphone better. First is to create a parabolic dish. Now you might have seen a parabolic dish on some spy movie. And that's basically one of those things where they used to listen to people when they were like 200 feet away and having a private conversation. So a parabolic dish is basically like this. I mean, minus the plant, but basically sounds come into the dish. They bounce back, reaching a certain focal point. If you put the microphone at that focal point, it picks up a lot of sound, especially from far away. Now, obviously, I can't use this because plant, but yeah. I found this pie pan. That's kind of like a parabolic dish. Now, I'm also going to try to make a parabolic dish out of this little uh, macaroni container thing, too. It says used by January 2018. We still got a little bit of time to use this. Also, it occurred to me that I never used the dead cat with this microphone. So I'll try that too, just to see if it makes a difference at close, close ranges anyways. Now, before we can convert these into parabolic dishes, we need to do a little bit of math. That is to find out where the focal point is on these. Now the equation for a parabolic dish is y equals x squared divided by 4 times a. Basically that means you have to measure the width of this across, divide that by 2 to find the radius, square that, then measure the depth at the deepest point, multiply that by 4, and then divide the first number by that. So, you got, got 7 and 3 quarter inches wide, and about 1 and a half deep. Let's plug those numbers into the calculator. So, after a few minor difficulties, I have discovered that the focal point of this pie pan parabola is approximately 2.5 inches. This means that the microphone will be situated 2.5 inches above the bottom, 
So right about there. And this one is only 0 0.3 inches. This means that the microphone will actually be situated inside the parabola. So let's get to building now. Ah, I got a package. I wonder what it could be. Let's open it up and find out. Of some kind. <laughs> ah, it's cookies from Sly and Valley, I think. So thanks, guys. So, now I have all my parabolic dishes built. First we have the pie pan parabola. Basically I just got this little straw here for the microphone to clip onto. And then we got the smaller one. And there's just a nail in there for it to clip onto. I'm thinking that uh, this one will pick up more sound, but this one will be more directional, so it might be a little bit better for me speaking. 
Uh, then I also made this little thing. Uh, this will just slip over the microphone. Basically, that's just to turn it from an omnidirectional microphone into a unidirectional microphone. So that might work. And of course, we'll also be using the dead cat too. So I'm just going to try a couple of different experiments. Uh, one where I just say a phrase, then I'll say it again with the dead cat, and then with each of the parabolic dishes, and we'll see which one works the best. So first, the control test. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So I've just reviewed the audio files and at close ranges. I found out that the dead cat does improve the sound, so hence that's why I'm wearing it now. At long ranges, I think the Pipan parabola did improve the sound a bit. This thing didn't work at all, it just made it worse, if anything. I'm also surprised that this little thing, the UD directional conversion, also seemed to work really well, which is surprising. So I just thought it would make the sound more clear, but not louder, but it seems to have done that too. So I think between these two, it's really close. So anyways, that's my attempt at building a better microphone. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be getting a actual microphone later in the future, probably in the next few weeks or so. So the audio will improve then. Um, I still have an outro, so uh, bye.